Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today I'm going to be continuing with the NumPy tutorial series. This is the very last video in this tutorial series in terms of coding and we're going to be looking at how you can sort arrays. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we are in PyCharm as usual and we are doing tutorial number 11, which as I said, is the last video in this tutorial series in terms of coding. So we're going to finish by doing something really neat in NumPy and that's sorting arrays. So as usual, I have imported NumPy as NP, imported the relevant modules because obviously we need to import NumPy in order to use it. And as I say in every video, if you haven't and you're, you're, you know, you're struggling with how to import NumPy or you just don't know how to do it, I did mention it and, and show you how to do it in the very first video. So I'd recommend checking that out if you struggle on kind of this aspect here. But we're going to jump in straight away and show you exactly how you can sort arrays. So, okay, we'll just put here sorting arrays as usual. I know it's up there, but yeah, we'll reiterate it here for ourselves. <laughs> okay, cool. So sorting arrays. So in NumPy, we have a function called sort. And that's about as much as I need to say because it's a really handy function and it allows us to sort arrays. So we're going to show you how to do that today. So I'm going to start by saying this, and this is what we're going to, I'm going to show you. This will sort an array in mathematical order. So we're going to create an array, just call it array1. We'll make it np.array, and it's just going to be a one-dimensional array. Now let's put some random numbers in here. Uh, 8, 10, minus, ah, minus that number and that number cool so we've got some really really random numbers in here and the simple thing that we're going to do is we're just going to assign a new variable so we'll say array one sorted and we will say np dot sort array one okay and then we'll print this a sorted array so array one sorted we will run okay cool okay so see what's happened we have this random kind of jumbled array here with, with random um, numbers in and here it's assigned it in mathematical order so we have the lowest first and the highest last. Cool, so that is a very very simple introduction to the, the sort function in NumPy and this also works for two dimensional arrays so I'll show you how it works. So I'll say um, we can sort two dimensional arrays. So let's create an array two and we'll make it a two-dimensional array, so np.array, we'll say we'll have some random numbers, okay, so 91 minus 45, 9. Haven't been putting my spaces in, gosh, cool. And then another one in here and we'll say 8 minus 3, 4. Okay, so these are obviously random, very random numbers and we'll do the same as what we did at the top, so let's say array 2 sorted equals np dot sort and this can be array two this time and we're just going to print this so array two sorted we'll run this okay cool so what has happened now obviously whenever we do things in numpy when you change to different dimensional arrays things work a lot differently to one dimensional arrays so obviously this is not going to order this in the way that it would have done for the one dimensional array so you wouldn't expect you know numbers to jump between elements it's not going to do that what it's going to do instead is it's going to sort each of these elements so instead of doing the whole you know the thing as a whole it's going to do this in here and this in here so what we notice is here the first element has been arranged so we've got minus 45 first then 9, then 91, so from lowest to highest. And similarly for this array here, we've got minus 3, 4 and 8. Okay, cool. So there we go. That's how you sort two dimensional arrays, which I think is really handy. And again, it works for higher dimensional arrays as well. So if you fancy, you can have a play around with this and, and see how it differs for higher dimensional arrays. It's, you know, if you fancy having a little go at that, then I would recommend it. It's nice to get your head around it. But, you know, today, because we know it works for higher dimensional arrays, we're not going to cover it. Now, obviously with arrays, we don't just have to have numbers in an array. So I could say something like this. I could say boolean array is gonna equal np.array. 
and we're gonna have a you know a random assortment of booleans in here so boolean i meant false true false true false false okay so there we go we've got this array and we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to say i'll put b a sorted short for boolean array sorted is going to equal np dot sort boolean oh, array okay we'll print this we'll print this ba sorted and let's see what happens okay interesting so this was something that you know quite fascinated me really um i never expected you know in your head i suppose for me i always expect true to come before false and in python it, it doesn't when you sort an array of booleans false comes first which i don't know you know let me know what your your comments are um i do wonder if it's to do with obviously f comes before t in the alphabet and that's kind of how it works but you know part of me would always expect true to come first it probably is you know just the <laughs> the 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 letters and stuff because obviously we can actually sort you know an alphabetical in into order so let's show you that let's sort um an a string uh, let's say let's sort an array with strings into alphabetical order okay so let's say um string array we'll do the usual np.array and we're going to have let's do something oh let's do um cities okay so let's have london obviously this is for the uk um <laughs> sorry if you don't know where some of these places are um okay london let's say hmm um gosh i'm literally lost now um somerset i think that's how you spell somerset I'm probably wrong uh york and what begins with a oh Ab aberdeen that's not that yeah that's scotland cool okay <laughs> I think the longest part of this video is me trying to figure out what what cities there are in in the UK. Anyway, we've got we've got a bit of a you know an array sorted there. Okay, cool. So let's say SA so string array sorted. We'll say NP dot sort, and as usual, we'll just put string array in here, and we'll print this. So SA sorted. And now let's have a look. Cool. It sorted it in terms of alphabetical order. Nice. So I think this is probably what happens with true and false. I would be actually quite fascinated. I'm, I'm probably going to have a look at that uh, after this video and see if, you know, if that's how it does work. But I think for me, I always expect true to come first for some reason. Um, but obviously that it would make sense if it works on alphabetical order. So there we go. We can sort arrays as well in terms of they don't have, just have to be numbers. And that's something as well is obviously arrays are used a lot in terms of data analysis with lots of data and numbers so that's why this tutorial series i've tried to put more of a mathematical spin on it just because you will tend to use you know more kind of data if, if that's something you want to go into data analysis it's definitely more numbers but this video is, is showing you that you can have arrays with things that are just numbers in so it's kind of nice now the final thing i'm going to talk about is just another cool um you know function in numpy and it's called search sorted so i thought it'd be appropriate to pop it in here um it's just like i said another another cool function that's in the numpy library so very simply this command when you know put with an array um and a given index index will return the index where the inputted value would need to be placed in order to maintain order okay so this might be a little bit confusing but i'll show you exactly what what we do so i'm gonna stick to so i'm gonna say array i think we had all right we'll do a th array three again this can literally be a b c but i'm just reiterating that this obviously is an array np dot array and we're gonna have let's say one two three five six Okay, so notice that I've missed four from this and I've done that for a reason. Now I'm going to say location again. Obviously, I'll put location one just because if you are running this and you're going to take this code from my GitHub, which obviously I say in every video and put the link in every video so all my codes are on GitHub. If you are going to use that, I have obviously located somewhere else. Was it in this video? 
or was it in my previous video it was in my previous video cool um so we can have a location that hasn't been previously assigned i don't think no cool so we'll say location and we will say okay so we've got location and we're going to say np dot search sorted which is there obviously as i stated up here search sorted and we're going to input array three and i'm going to put the number four so what this is going to do when we print it it's going to print the location at which four should be inputted into this array in order to maintain order so you wouldn't expect python to return you know the first index here because obviously four wouldn't really go there so what we're expecting it to produce and we will say that it does is okay so we have zero one two we would expect it to produce three so let's run this i have minimized this three perfect cool so cool there we go we can find out where exactly this would need to be inputted and i guess this would be handy in the sense of i suppose let's say again shoe sizes let's say you have an array full of everyone's shoe size and it's, and it's in order like we did with with these arrays here and you wanted to know well okay let's let's think about a shoe size of size four if i put this in here it would tell me you know what index i suppose where four begins or where four would need to be inputted so it gives you a good idea of how many shoe sizes before that there are kind of thing so obviously that's a bit of an abstract uh, way of interpreting this but it's just i suppose a really nice way of finding out what index you need for a given value so again you could and i'm gonna let's say location two it doesn't have to just be one value so we'll do search sorted again and the whole array three again now you can actually put a list in here so let's say i want to know where and i'm going to change this array slightly so we're going to miss we're going to have one three five okay so i'm going to put into here where would two need to be where would four need to be and then where would let's say nine okay now let's print this location two and we'll run it okay interesting so it tells us that for two it would need to be located at index one so we have zero one it would need to be there four would need to be located at zero one two there because obviously we have two and then for nine it would need to be located at zero one two three four and obviously that makes sense because that's where those values need to be in order to you know maintain order so that's pretty cool i think that's it was a nice when i started learning i was kind of like oh that's yeah that's, that's pretty cool so i thought i'd include it today just you know so everybody watching can also i suppose have the same enjoyment that i had when i when i under, when i discovered it so yeah that is video today it's basically just been showing you how you can sort arrays that aren't limited to just numbers and then also just a little bit about the search sorted uh, command in numpy which again i think is pretty cool so that is the video today if you like the video then please like subscribe and comment and i will see you all in the next video